Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video I thought with this one I will step away a little bit from Christmas still in a winter theme and I will be using this Clairefontaine Fontaine watercolor paper it is 300 gsm or 140 pounds 20 by 40 centimeters which I have divided into two parts and one part one half I glued onto this MDF board and I will be using some watercolors from Etcher also watercolors from my own set and I will start with this flat brush from Raphael just one you need a one larger brush to prevent your paper and well I guess you can definitely use a larger round brush if that suits you but I will be using this flat brush today because that one is also going to be the one that I will start to paint with add in the sky and also the ground now I'm just mixing in some blue from my own set of colors this is a cozy set and this coffee brown just mixing in to get a gray that's my favorite actually gray mix of blue and brown also picked up a little bit of warm yellow and now picking up some violet and in the last one last part of my butterfly i also picked up a little bit of the violet also just a touch of pretty pink from etcher palette and some warm yellow from my cozy set since i have prevented the paper it is still wet and the water just slightly soaked in and i'm starting off with the upper part of the sky and also with the ground those are kind of grayish blue colors i do want those wintry colors picked up a little bit of the black and just painting in with this flat brush painted in the upper part of the sky and also lower part of the ground and added some of the blue also down because you can see in the finished painting there are some parts that are not really painted they are quite light because i do want to create that mist feel and maybe there is some fog in the distance adding that winter cool cool feel A little bit of warm yellow in between my pinks and with this smaller brush I have picked up now again yellow this is actually a Raphael brush from their soft aqua series number zero I do love this brush that one can hold a lot of water and also can get a lot of the paint so I really do like that brush it's very very soft now again picking up some black and a little bit of the blue to create this blue gray tone and paint it in the lower part and also one thing i wanted to say to you don't be afraid to add a lot of the pigment as you can see my colors on the finished piece are quite dark and i did not paint in a lot of layers um, i will be adding just one layer for the sky and also for the lower part so just make sure you use quite pigmented colors and don't be afraid don't use this light washes this time we do need quite heavy colors quite pigmented colors because we do want to leave it at just one layer with the tissue paper i'm picking up a little a little circle from some uh, from the sun that is just peeking through somewhere in a distance in in between those clouds and with this again smaller brush i have tilted slightly my paper uh, i'm adding in some of the trees the feel of the trees and as you can see those parts that are turned towards the sun are a little bit lighter and with this warmer color with warmer brown and those that are in uh, the shadow from the sun and a little bit further away are going to be a little bit of the violet and darker darker black i left that to dry completely and on a dry paper i'm adding some of the grasses and for that again i'm using coffee brown and on the top i will add a little bit of the black just to create some shadows and you can see some of the stems are a little bit lighter especially those ones that are closer to the sun and it looks like there is some shine there and they are a little bit less visible and those that are lower and a little bit further away are going to be a little bit more black 
and I'm using this brush from again Levinson paint brushes this is a handmade brush I really do like that one because it has very pointy tip I can do a very very nice uh, thin lines with that one and now with the smaller round brush I'm just adding some splatters black splatters in the lower part and with that I'll be finishing off with this painting quite simple and easy one layer painting so just make sure, as I said, to use quite saturated colors. And if you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome and mean very, very much to me. And again, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.